couldn't see it today. We talk about how I wake up at 4 a.m. every day. It's actually not complicated. Just think on a, a disciplined person, the character that is uh, decided to continue with their goal. They want to focus on themselves, and it's just they on their own bedroom, and the only distraction, the only stimulated thing is what they have to do. And that's because I wake up at 4 a.m. every day. Goodbye! a life changer habit at first no okay so if you think that uh, to wake up at 4 a.m or anything else is a life changing get out of this video because I, nothing is actually life changing than something proven by itself okay and all the habits that you are developing are actually what change your life okay? because of your life very many that have the, the most important ones like exercising or taking a cold showers but all of them Aboard something to build a better life uh, and YouTube is one of the best things you express yourself a lot but yes okay to, to wake up early is gonna improve your life no matter what is now your schedule okay? For if you wake up at, at 8 a.m. to do that one hour earlier seriously that good okay and you feel yourself better and to arrive to this point is like okay I am mastering myself and obviously with the time is it worth it? yes it's gonna change your life like on an instant or no, okay? And this is what actually most of us fail to realize, okay? That it's not that, you know, three weeks, it's really to the long term. And two years are not long term, okay? But just think on 10 years, even. But staying consistent, seriously, that you feel the results. But just, we must understand some concept to do that with consistency and not taking so much effort okay? because it's just waking up set your alarm at 4 a.m. and that's all so what's the necessity what do you want to do this this is seriously something that you must reflect and, and lots of stuff that actually I say to you on every video but uh, that this is the primary necessity is just to boost discipline and to challenge yourself because it's on one of the many beginner things that's that most of us must do tell wake up earlier does no matter what is for now your schedule if you do that even for 30 minutes it will work and it's just at the beginning to take steps forward forward and forward and this challenge eventually will be something that is part of your daily basis and will not take you so effort it's the same thing that exercising okay but with your mind you can do i don't know 20 push-ups with so much effort you finish a sword the other advanced athlete that you have in front of you, you can do that and even more 100 push-ups i don't know and, and for a day it's just like a, a, a cardio movement just like walk this is the magic of calisthenics by the way the other one will be obviously to work for yourself because wake up early seriously that gives you time to do many things okay more well, i know many things that for uh, two hours okay and, and then the world uh, starts and start, but you are already making more progress than anyone and, and you feel yourself better there is no noise it's only you with the things that you have to do uh, you will not get distracted by A or B we soon and basically is guaranteed some progress without minding what uh, will happen in the next part of the day okay you understand it this that uh, yes it's a uh, for challenging yourself okay it's not like changing because actually the, it depends of what how is your schedule and uh, what activities you do on the day okay, because you can you can have a, a good healthy a beauty routine then you know it starts at 10 a.m and finishes at, at 2 a.m okay your eight hours and despite of sounding where it doesn't change too much but this is this is for establishing some basis okay so how i did this i didn't have a schedule to work out i think that most of the teenagers the don't, don't have it actually obviously on times of school i i woke up like 6 a.m and that first hour and that that first ugly terrible common kind of a uh, first hour morning routine that i don't know all crazy where where everyone is moving and getting dressed having breakfast and then on holidays um, going to sleep at 2 3 a.m and waking up at 11 you know sometimes 9 10 
at any time. To do this, you must establish an hour in which you will do it constantly. For challenging myself, I will establish at 8. And if you want, you can do it at 8, 7 a.m. Something that I don't recommend you is to do it all, all at once. Obviously, we actually have to focus on many things on one day, so make it without effort. Then to 6, 5, 4, and stop when whenever you want but not do that all at once uh, i recommend you primarily to set a progress eventual progress in really long time not even noticing or remembering that you are uh, doing this because as i said mostly of your productivity depends on your day and not on the time at the time that you do because there are many people that are actually entrepreneurs uh, have a night schedule but it's just all move so focus actually in what you do on your day and set those times uh, and the way in which you don't remember that you are changing all your stuff. An example would be, okay, I am waking up at 7 a.m. Uh, I will be, I don't know, for three months so and then I will reduce it to 60 and 30. Then three months later, I will reduce it to 6 a.m. and so on and just continue. Five months later, I will change it to 5 a.m. and until you arrive to 4 a.m. You understand it, no? Now, the only complicated thing is to agree sometimes with society because most don't get up at 4 a.m. Let's say that you have an important meeting or just a work visiting at 7 p.m or 8 p.m. where you actually uh, should be in a slept. So how, how to deal with this? There will be days in which your schedule must change, but it shouldn't be hard to get back. And this happens even with athletes, okay? That they have a strict schedule, they wake up earlier, they go to sleep early, but they have a game at the night, at the middle of the night, actually, even at the midnight. So to deal with this in the, in the time in which you get back to your bedroom okay all uh, the things ready to sleep after the meeting or the going out the important going out by the way not just by instant pleasure okay it must have a good reason to do this and to reorganize your sleeping time set your alarm eight hours after and then on the next day you will uh, sleep at your normal schedule because if you do all the contrary your next day will be uh, terrible i mean to escape some hours of sleeping it will not work and most if you are an athlete it's better uh, to have reduced time with a power of productivity okay than, than the same schedule with less productivity and you almost being like a zombie now for finishing i will give you uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, doing this okay that these are actually not uh, too many ideas but I just want to mention them. Going to the good side is that obviously there is more discipline, there is more proudness, uh, more focusing on your goals, time to reflect, silence, and why not isolation uh, if you uh, wouldn't like to deal with society by itself and just with the things that actually matter. And by the way, some loneliness is good. And just to spend time with yourself actually is while you are really mindful that you are doing it. Now, the disadvantages are not uh, too many. Actually, I have only one. Uncomfortability shouldn't be one because uh, it actually helps you to put progress. And the only one that they have, actually, the uncomfortability uh, in organizing uh, because of external factors. It's something complicated, but once you do this, you are actually uh, working out your mind flexibility to get out of your a daily basis actually help you to maintain that daily basis as something that you do because you actually want and know that you are obligated so i don't know what else to say guys so tell me what do you think about this and I, before passing through 4 a.m again i woke up at 3 and 30 but i noticed that i was really apart with the other people okay that for now i don't cook for accomplishing okay i will i will have to adapt myself to these schedules because okay for our ordinary routine to take the dinner is at 5 30 p.m is really early for the ordinary people uh, 
to do that at 7 or 8 p.m. in which me is sleeping. And even uh, there are people who does it at 10 a.m. but they they are irresponsible people. Okay, so goodbye uh, and tell me what do you think about this.